My most beloved electrostatic machine, compare with the German highly finished one as Trump R to Chippendale. I was told that it is a general piece probably dating in the era from 1890 to 1920, but I never believed that. A cloth flap held in place by a wrought iron wire frame rubbing on the glass cylinder, the flap is missing in our machine, produced the electric fire, as Franklin would say. According to Bernard Finn, from Smithsonian Institution, the cloth flap was introduced only in 1773 and should be an indication of when the machine was made. The laden jars are outrageously beautiful. Iron fillings is used as internal electrodes. This was a common practice only until Franklin pointed out that all you need was a conductive surface coating on the glass. The iron fillings uh, act as the inner electrode and allow the electric fire to be stored in a jar. The afflux of electric fire is directed inside the jar, jar through a wrought iron wire ending with an iron ball. The efflux gets out through whiskers that probably used to be held in place by the still in place silk streak. Because the glass cylinder usually charged positively, in more commercial versions of this friction machine, a comb is installed to facilitate the distribution of the electric fire flux, efflux. The Linden jars look very much as the bottles produced by Wistar glass blowing firm who holds, whose owners were contemporary and become related to Franklin family. The handmade pine wooden plank on which the contraption is set has three unused holes which may indicate that at one time a principal conductor was there as in the engraving illustrating a very similar machine. The machine and the engraving was well documented to be used in 1792 in an attempt to alleviate the effects of a stroke. Because some of the early Wistar uh, bottles look so much as the Leyden jar in our machine. Because Benjamin Franklin and Gaspar Wistar uh, knew each other and were neighbor at one point and because Franklin used Wister glass in his experiment, I speculate once in a while that our beloved friction machine was made by Wister firm at the request of Benjamin Franklin. To bet the dates of one improvement or another in the machine doesn't align very well. <laughs>